In this demonstration, we're going to talk about the short service employees, the new hire evaluations, um, also known as SSE for the short service employees. Um, this is basically those employees that come on board and might need to go through that new hire evaluation program um, for anywhere from 30 to 60 to 90 days. Uh, you can create this schedule under the new hire evaluation here. Um, and then you can assign these tasks automatically to assign a form out to either assign it to themselves, their supervisor, their mentor, HSE, or manager on their profile. Um, and you can kind of set up the schedule and then leave it disabled in the background. We actually do have some forms to go along with this. So if you actually pop into your form section, you can go into your library button here. And then they are in alphabetical order. So if you scroll down to the S section, you should see the short service employees evaluations here. And then you can import as many as you want. We actually have a, a program that goes up to 180 days. You can import all of these, but if you only do like a 90 day, you can import to the 90 day. And then just make sure that whatever day you go up to, you do want to make sure that you import the final evaluation. This one will be very important and I'll kind of explain later why. So first we'll go ahead and import the 30 day. That does allow you to edit it or go back to your forms, but in this case, I need to import more. So I'm just going to click my X button here and then I'm going to import the next one. And then the next one from here. In this case, I'm only going to set up a 90 day, so I'm just going to skip the others and then I'm going to import the last one here for the final evaluation. So now if I pop back into my form section, I should see all of those four forms right here. So now that I have the form set up, uh, the next step is to set up the schedule so that I can toggle these to trigger on day 30, day 60, day 90, and then whatever day I want that last one to trigger for the final evaluation. Um, so here we'll pop back into the control panel. It's under the employees heading. You'll click on your new hire evaluations here and here you'll add your schedule for each one. So you will add a schedule for each day that you want it to trigger. So in this case, if it's at day 30, you will just select the day 30, you'll toggle the form, you'll assign it to who you want it to be assigned to on their profile. So as I stated, they can assign it to themselves if you want them to take a self-evaluation, their supervisor, HSC, manager, and so forth on their profile. In this case, I'm going to use the mentor field. And then also this is important to have the task name. This is what triggers to their mentor when they see that task on their homepage. Um, and then to show the new hire that it applies to, you'll actually just copy this right here. And then you can, it will actually show the new hire's name in the task from there. So it will say the new hire's name, and then we can say that this is a day 30 SSE evaluation. You'll leave the handler for off for now. Um, and we can kind of talk about this. If you need them to graduate early, you can trigger this on, but you do have, a, have to have a toggle in the form to allow them to graduate them. Um, in this case, I'm going to toggle up to no, and then I can show you how that could be set up later. So then we'll add our next one for day 60. So typically I'll just copy the same task name, paste it right here, and then just change my day 60, make sure I'm toggling it on day 60, and then choose my day 60 form. And I want this one also assigned to the mentor. I'll do the same thing and just repeat the process for as many days as I need to. And then on the final evaluation, I'll show you how we toggle that one. So we're going to trigger this one to the mentor and no handler on that one as well. And then the final graduation decision. So typically same deal, kind of do the same thing, but in, instead of day 60, I'll change this to the final SSE evaluation. Um, usually I try to give them some time in between these two to toggle uh, just to give allow them some time to be able to complete their task 
before you kind of trigger the final evaluation, which it will toggle and order accordingly from there. Um, so here, if you needed it to toggle on uh, maybe day 100, 10 days after, give them a little bit of time to complete that form, you can toggle that on and choose the final evaluation. If you wanted it to assign to a different person or again, that mentor, and then this is where we kind of make that new higher graduation decision here. And I'll show you actually what this does here. So once we save our changes, now we have our new hire schedule set up for day 30, day 60, and day 90, and then day 100 for the final. So what the handler does here is this is actually a field within the form that is called the checkbox field. So if I scroll to the bottom here, you're actually gonna see that it has a toggle that says graduate, employ. Again, that's our checkbox field. We actually need the settings to be toggled to a switch and then it's unchecked. What the switch ends up doing is it changes it to that yes, no. If you left it on the checkbox, it's just a checkbox, um, but we do need it on that switch setting as a yes, no. And then when they select yes, it's automatically going to graduate the employee from the new hire evaluation program and kind of remove their uh, tasks from that list or the supervisor's list. So if you needed to graduate an SSE early, um, what you would do is toggle into the form where you want to allow that. So maybe you want to require them to do day 30 at least, but then maybe if you want an early graduation in day 60, if they're doing well, you can toggle that on. Just note that whoever clicks that button is going to graduate that employee. Um, so whoever is assigned the task, in this case the mentor, would toggle that uh, trigger on or off from there. So typically we will add another um, checkbox and it will just say that same thing, graduate employee early, question mark. We add the settings to a switch and then we just leave it like that. So now that would allow it to toggle to where if they select yes, it could graduate the employee. The second part of that that you would need to set up now that we have it in the form is to actually allow it under the new hire evaluation schedule. So this is where we come back in and say, yes, now our form has that new hire graduation decision, the handler, which is the handler basically is just that checkbox in the form telling it, hey, we're going to make this the toggle to say yes or no. And it does have to be that checkbox field, exactly how I just showed you to set it up. So now if they needed to, they could graduate them early on day 60 and it would process no more further evaluations from there. So now that we have the schedule set up, the next toggle is updating your employees who are SSE. And to kind of trigger that, we'll pop into my employees here. I'm going to put Jack Anderson as a, I'm going to assign myself as his mentor. So I'm going to click edit on his profile. And then the other thing to kind of get him to toggle into the short service uh, program is the short service date. So typically you would use their hire date and then you would have it in their hire date as well as in their short service date. What's also nice is if you backdate it, the site is smart enough to see that actually Jack has never completed the short service evaluation program. So now we're going to enroll him accordingly from there. Once you save changes, it does still show none down here. Um, and that is totally fine. You'll click the plus button and it says that none are due at this time, but if we click into the details, you'll actually see that they are assigned out um, to myself, since I'm his mentor, for day 30, day 60, and day 90, and the final, because he has passed all these date ranges that I have set up. Um, and then that way you can confirm that it has been assigned based off of the dates. So you can see here, this one is December 31st, this one was assigned on January, and then another 30 days later on um, March, and then again on the 100th day on March 11th. Um, so automatically toggles the schedule accordingly from there. 
Now to show you from the user's perspective or the mentor in this case, I actually have all these evaluations toggled to me. So now if I click into the 30 day here, I can actually see that it automatically blocks out his name so I don't have to toggle that. And now I can just mark how his performance was during this month. And then now if I go back into my task here, I have this one. And if I needed to, I can graduate him early. I will show you what happens when we graduate him early. It's what ends up happening is it automatically removes the short service in date office profile. You can always pop into the employee section as well, filter by only SSEs if you need to. And now I can quickly find Jack Anderson, his profile. Now I can see those evaluations because they've actually been completed down here. And if, if I need to, I can see that date of his short service date. What ends up happening when I toggle this to yes is it's automatically going to remove this short service date and remove any open task for his mentor to complete going forward. So now if I re go back to Jack Anderson's page and refresh, now he's unenrolled since I selected that graduation and I can see all his evaluations that I completed accordingly from here. To see the whole process, I'll actually toggle another user. We'll go into James here, and we're gonna do the same process where we're gonna add his short service date, but we're just gonna back it up further so that we can make sure that we capture the full 100 days here. And then we're gonna assign me as his mentor so I get triggered his tasks. Now you can see, again, it catches you up to say, hey, you haven't completed any of these on James, so now you need to complete them in order here. So we'll go through and complete James's evaluations for his 30 day, go back to the profile on the home page, complete his 60 day. Obviously, these wouldn't be, hopefully, on catch up, you would be doing them as you go. If you leave no toggled here, it wouldn't graduate them early and you just complete the next evaluation accordingly from there. Um, so now you can see day 90 still gets triggered accordingly. And then lastly, my final evaluation where I can toggle him to graduate. And then again, once I click back into his profile here, you can see it automatically removes that short service date. And then now we have all his records right here where you can click into the details. You can see each one of his scores for each evaluation and kind of print those records accordingly from here on your browser if you needed to as well. Um, additionally, you get all that data housed as well in your form section in the responses where you can house that. One other important thing that I did forget to point out is we will actually want to hide these because if the user or the mentor or the manager or HSC, whoever it's assigned to, comes in and clicks out the fill out button, it actually won't complete the task on their homepage for them. So they do have to go through their open task for the HSS or H, excuse me, for the SSEs to mark their task complete. So what I always recommend is opening each of these up and just making sure it's hidden so that they can still pull the form responses, but they don't see that fill out mode anymore. And then they can just toggle to their task from there to complete it. Um, so just removes that fill out option when they're in the forms now so that they can, they have to toggle through their task. So if I open up all of these here in the edit mode, you'll just toggle this hidden in forms and scroll down to save your changes. And then that removes that fill out option so that they have to toggle through their task to complete the evaluation from there. So now if we go into the forms, those should all be hidden so that again, they have to toggle through their task to complete it. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the support team at support at kpaehs.com.